What's up guys? Today I'm with Brian. What's up? What are we doing today, Brian? We're gonna go on a tour of the plateau for some Portuguese chicken. This is a very chic area of town it's called the Plateau Royal. This was a Portuguese Jewish settlement, right? Like in the 1700s, is well, that right? The plateau was very famous because Leonard Cohen didn't live too far away, just a few blocks down over there. Welcome to Little Portugal, situated between Pine Street and Marianne in Montreal's Le Plateau. This is the right neighborhood to frequent if you're looking for Portuguese coffee, pastries, or chicken. Portuguese chicken. Portuguese chicken. You can't visit Montreal without getting Portuguese chicken. Yeah. It's a thing. Marinated, then grilled over fire until the skin turns crispy. Served with spicy sauce, Portuguese chicken is really one of the best things ever. But with so many restaurants to choose from, I asked some locals for their suggestions. We decided we're gonna try three spots today. My food mouillé, Coco Rico. Oh, gee, that's, the OG, that's the OG spot. And we're gonna try Romanos. You like Portuguese chicken? You've never had Portuguese chicken? In your life? We're heading down Rochelle East and we're going to go eat some Portuguese chicken at Poulmouillé, wet chicken. <laughs> that's a funny name, but it's good food. I want to pronounce it right. Ma Poulmouillé. Ma poule mouillé. Mouillé. Ma poule mouillé. Yeah, it means my wet chicken. My wet chicken? My wet chicken, yes, yes. Welcome to my wet chicken. All of my conversations about good food in Montreal, something's always come up, and that is ma poule mouillé. And now that I'm here, this is what I see. A line out the door. This is insane how many people are here. Combien de poulet? How many chickens? This is a journée plus tranquille. You can see already, it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, grill the poulet, all the journey until 10 o'clock in the morning. After 800, 900, 1000, 1000. What do you think makes it so popular? In not sauce. In not sauce. In not sauce. What is the secret? No, it's not the secret of the poulet mouillé, as you can say. At my poulet mouillé, I think what makes it exceptional is the spicy sauce. Everyone makes it its own way. There is no house that makes it the same way. People are quite crazy about ours. We have a number two. Here. For eating here? Sauce piquante? Yes. With salad and fruit? With salad and fruit. Perfect. And a little poutine? For the chorizo? Yes. Uh, oui. Perfect. Thank you. This is what I grew up on in Montreal here. You know that chain Nando's? This is like homegrown mom and pop. Phil, that's way too much food. That's way too much. <laughs> that portion is a portion of a king, but I'm going to give it a try. The plate is huge. Look at this, just so you know, this is so much chicken. This is half a chicken, a mountain of fries in a salad. $12 Canadian, 10 bucks US. First chicken of the day. Wow, this looks amazing. It's chicken, man. You gotta go in with your hands, you know? Wow, that's some good chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? My wet chicken is here. It's a wet chicken. It looks fantastic. Oh my God. It's spicy. It's spicy. Leslie. How good is that? Delicious. Oh my gosh. This is food that you want to eat late at night, that you wake up thinking about, that is going to fill a hole in your soul. Honestly, I think for the first spot that we tried today, it brings like expectations pretty high. This is one of my favorite chickens I've ever had, honestly. And you've had a lot of chicken. I have. Yeah. I'm a big chicken. <laughs> Brown potato balls. Oh, tender. Oh my god. Let me try the chorizo. Oh, got some good chorizo. And if that wasn't enough, bam! Poutine! Oh, damn, that's good. This is the poutine. This is like Quebecois Portuguese food that came up specifically out of this area. And in case I didn't already love this place enough, they bring out something to seal the deal. What? <laughs> What's that? Poutine. Poutine. This is Montreal on a plate. And the cheese curds must squeak. So when you put the cheese curd in your mouth, it should be like. Eh, 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 yes. Eh. Is it doing that? A little bit. You, you need more. You it need more. could be my teeth. Yeah. What? Well. I'm actually quite impressed with how much we were able to finish. This is all we're taking to go. This was the first spot. Oh mouillé. This was lit. This was amazing. Are you full? Actually, I'm like, I'm like 20% full right now. That's a big plate. The next spot is just a short walk away, closer to Mount Royal. Let's go, let's go! Also in the Plateau neighborhood, this popular place, Le Rotisserie Romado. Rotisserie Romados. This is a must-go for the chicken alone. You can smell the chicken here before you even get there, like while you're walking down the street. Andy saw chicken, and I believe this is where we're going, so 
Holy moly. Similar to Nando's, and it's highly reviewed. We read one that says if you come to Montreal and you don't go here, you're crazy. It's definitely a neighborhood spot. You can tell that there were locals lined up here. My neighborhood, we got other chicken too, but uh, we rolled from far away just to get Comedos chicken. Portuguese chicken spot number two here. This is another Montreal staple. I've heard so much about it. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see the food underneath this. I'm really glad we uh, are splitting this. It comes with a healthy dose of french fries. <laughs> we are in Montreal after all. <laughs> chicken looks amazing. Look at all that sauce down there. Portuguese chicken. I don't know why it's so popular in Montreal. I'm just happy it's here and then I found it. Oh. Ooh, this one's spicy. The chicken here is really more juicy than my pumo here. The chicken is really good, like, really good. It's pretty good. Is it better than Nando's? It's different. It's different than Nando's. I promise I'll be a vegetarian tomorrow. Good food, so good chicken, cute girls. That's right. How is it? Good? Really good. Very good, right? Absolutely wonderful. It's tasty. The crispiness. The skin, crispier. The and sauce, spicier. No. Woo. No? Oh, bro. It does taste different. Then my food we Flavorful. Flavor-wise, they're both amazing. And I'm gonna soak it down here. Death fry. Have the steak? Woo! Spicy. Not even close. <laughs> this place has been open for over 30 years. Next, we are going to hit up Coco Rico, which is like the OG original. Like, I remember growing up on this stuff right next to Schwartz's. Guys, Schwartz's famous deli right there for smoked meat. But if it's lined up, you walk right here. Boom. And you get yourself a chicken sandwich. No lineups. I'm full. But you know, let's do it for the vlog. So famous walking tours come here. We had lunch at Coco, Coco something. The chicken there was good, right? Not just the chicken. Potatoes. And we had carrots. Alright, let's go with a dark thigh. What's a thigh in French? Thigh. Chris. Chris. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is actually more authentic to when I was in Portugal, guys. Super juicy, tender. The difference is oven rotisserie, right? And the other ones are charcoal grilled. Yum. Wow. Of the three spots, nice. I think I may have found my favorite. Oh, you're going with the OG right here? Yeah, it was it was good. Like no regrets picking that place. We just walked past and then the smell of the chicken drew us in. It was like... <laughs> well that was a full meal. Feeling good? Oh I'm so good. Really good. It's really good. Ramados, I think that might have been like my favorite Mapul Mouillé. Specialized in like crazy poutines that we didn't get a chance to try. Yeah, we didn't even try the poutine, man. How's the chicken? Holy moly, was it good? And it's cheap too. And then Coco Rico, the OG. Coco Rico! Oh, by the way, there was a lineup from the time that we went in there until the time that we left. One of those places that they just keep serving until they run out of food. Lineups always means good food in Montreal anyway. Not everywhere, but definitely Montreal. Montreal is one of the better food cities in the universe. What's next? Can you handle more food? No. <laughs> That's it, man.